Hello guys, my name is Biscuit and welcome back to my channel or for you that are for the very first time here, I welcome you. Today I'm gonna react to a movie you guys have been recommending and it's called Forrest Gump. I don't know exactly what to expect for it. I was asked if I watched it. I never did. The name doesn't tell me anything. I did read the description but as well didn't tell me anything. So I'm excited to react to a movie you guys wished for. So for future recommendation, future suggestion, please drop it down in the comment section below and as well if you like the reaction don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more movie reaction series anime and whatever else we are doing here thank you again for all your support and thank you again for being here we will just basically jump into it because there is not a lot to say in the intro so yeah let's have fun together and i really appreciate the fact that you're watching this movie with me let's start okay oh no his shoes dirty I love and I hate white shoes because of this. It's a burp feather. Gift. Are those chocolates? He's keeping the feather as good luck charm. I do that sometimes. We are going somewhere. Where are we going? Oh, maybe we are waiting for someone. Is this our girlfriend? My name's Forrest. Forrest Gump. You want a chocolate? That's sweet. I could eat about a million and a half of these. Me too. My mom always said life was like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. Because a, a box of chocolate is full with different types of chocolate. Those must be comfortable shoes. <laughs> no, they wear Crocs. <laughs> I bet you could walk all day in shoes like that and not feel a thing. Come on. I, I had shoes like that. My feet hurt. Mom always said it. there's an awful lot you can tell about a person by their shoes. That's true. I've worn lots of shoes. I bet if I think about it real hard, I could remember my first pair of shoes. She said they was my magic shoes. All right, Forrest, open your eyes now. Let's take a little walk around. My heart just broke. But we're gonna straighten him right up now, aren't we, Forrest? Forrest! Mama said that the forest part was to remind me that Oh my god. What are y'all staring at? Yeah, what are you staring at? Mama always had a way of explaining things so I could understand them. That's we sweet. lived about a quarter mile off Route 17. I don't want to cry, but this thing makes me very emotional. Her grandpa's grandpa grandpa had come across the ocean about a thousand years ago, something like that. And that's how me and Mama got money. Okay, she was Mama renting. Was did you hear what I said, Forrest? You're the same as everybody else. You are no different. Your boy's different, Ms. Gump. His IQ is 75. She wanted me to have the finance education, so... I'm gonna show you something, Ms. Gump. Can you not close Forrest the door? is right here. He's gonna have to go to special school. But my boy Forrest is going to get the same opportunities as everyone else. He's not going to some special school to learn how to retread tires. We don't want to see anybody left behind. Is that a Mr. Gump? Mrs. Gump? Hater. I hate him. You sound like a freaking dog in heating. <laughs> Dirty. Well, your mama sure does care about your schooling, son. There is a special place for you people like you. <laughs> I like him. <laughs> Karma. Mama, what's vacation mean? Vacation? Where daddy went. Vacations when you go somewhere and you don't ever come back. I wish. Sometimes we had so many people staying with us that every room was filled. It's like an inn. And he had him a guitar case. He definitely had, has a speech impediment. Told you not to bother this nice young man. Oh well, no, that's all right, man. I, I was just showing him a thing or two on the guitar here. Elvis Presley? Did I read that right? You ain't nothing but a I like that guitar. I don't know. That's, that's so good. cool. I just reacted to him I on my other channel. <laughs> swinging my hips. You ain't nothing but a this made me happy. <laughs> You know, it's funny how you remember some things, but some things you can't. You do your very best now, Forrest. Very well. Nice. <laughs> Are you coming along? Mama said not to be taking rides from strangers. He has his little red apple. I'm Forrest, Forrest Gump. Well, now we ain't strangers anymore. He's so precious. Oh, my God. Thanks, thank you. 
tiger. Man, kids are so mean sometimes. Can't sit here. Why? What does he have? Why, why do you need you know, to be mean? Funny, That's why we need to educate our kids, right? I had never seen anything so beautiful in my life. That's sweet. That's cricket like a question mark. <laughs> That's so sweet. I showed her how to dangle and I showed her how to swing. <laughs> Just stay a little longer. How do you have little hands? For some reason, my only friend. Oh my god. Wow. Oh my god. Kids. Run, forest, run. <laughs> run, forest, run. But I can run like the wind blows. I was running. I think this is how we're gonna be watching the movie. Me trying not to cry challenge. But I want the medical explanation. Sure is a running fool. A running fool. <laughs> Dad is taking a nap. Get in! Come on! You better get back here, girl! Oh my god, if I just had the power I needed and to be able to get away with anything, I will definitely take action against people like this. Which made me happy, because she was so close. Hey, oh, come it. on, stop Hit hitting it. him! Run, Forrest, run! <laughs> Jack the Rabbit is a gay. It's a green rabbit. Oh my god, please, no more emotional. Jump over the fence! Jump over the fence! They have a car! Go to the left! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Coon, well, raccoons trying to get on our back porch. Mama just chase him off with a broom. Not raccoons, you idiot, nigga. I mean, it's kind of nice to see a, a throwback um, to how things were. I'm so happy that we passed that. It's a step. It's a step. Ma'am, you dropped your book. My bus is here. Is it the number nine? No, it's the number four. It was nice talking to you. Wait, tell us the story. Continue. Jenny having a boyfriend. Jenny, are you betraying us? Jenny. Wait, did he just hit her? Forrest! Forrest, stop it! What are you doing? Don't go! Billy, wait a second! Forrest! Why'd you do that? Brought you some chocolate. I'm sorry. Jenny, come on! Look at you! He was trying to protect you. He didn't understand what's happening. I want to be famous. I want to be able to say things. <laughs> Just one to one. Maybe put some clothes on. Have you ever been with a girl, Forrest? We'll assume not. I next to them in my home economics class all the time. Jenny, don't do it. Oh no, Jenny, no, Jenny, no. There is some lines. And we crossed them hard. They even put me on a thing called the All-America Team. Dr. Pepper. number one, I wasn't hungry but thirsty. Congratulations. How do you feel? <laughs> I got a pay. <laughs> Man, this is such a good movie. And it's an old movie, but it's so good. After only five years of playing football, I got a college degree. Mama was so proud. I love his mom. Hello, I'm Forrest. Forrest Gump. How many years a husky shit who you are, Pussball? You're not even low like scum sucking maggot. Saints take. Oh god again. Really? At first it seemed like I made a mistake. Seeing how it was only my induction day and I was already getting yelled at. Sit down if you want to. I didn't know who I might meet or what they might ask. People call me Bubba. Bubba. Okay, like Bubba. Okay. Go! What's 
your sole purpose in this army? To do whatever you tell me, drill sergeant? God damn it, Gump! You're a goddamn genius. That's the most outstanding answer I've ever heard. <laughs> you must have a goddamn IQ of 160. Yes, yes Sergeant! Sergeant! <laughs> That's so good acting. This, That's so good acting. this guy with his shrimps. Everything goes all right. Dundra, Sergeant! Go! Why did you put that weapon together so quickly, Gump? You tell me to, Drill Sergeant. Jesus H. Christ. This is a new company record. <laughs> it's a new new way. Shrimp and potatoes. Mm, shrimp burger. I'm hungry. Shrimp. And I'd miss my mama. And I'd miss Jenny. Hey, Gump. Get a load of the tits on her. Playboy. <laughs> oh, wow. Where is the blonde? We already know you like blondes. Jenny had gotten into some trouble over some photos of her in her college sweater. Dang. Naughty and Jenny. Owned, I took the bus up to Memphis to see her perform in that show. Are you performing naked, Jenny? How many rows must a man I mean, you are still performing your dream? Her dream had come true. <laughs> Without clothes. Without clothes. <laughs> They did just want to see boobas. You can't keep doing this all the time. I mean, he loves you. I love you. Forrest, you don't know what love is. Of course he does. You remember that time we prayed, Forrest? You think I could fly off this bridge? No, 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 no. What do you mean? Wait, Jenny. Forrest, you stay away from me, okay? They sending me to Vietnam. Just hang on a minute. Listen, you promise me something, okay? Just, if you're ever in trouble, don't try to be brave. You just run, okay? Just run away. I'm not crying. Jenny, I write you all the time. I don't know how people could just jump into strangers' cars and just go. States of America, except for all the beer cans, barbecue, <laughs> blood. And you got nice weather as well. You must be my FNGs. I'm Lieutenant Dan Taylor. Welcome to Fort Platoon. Where are you boys from in the world? Alabama, sir. Pushing soul, OD green. In every single American war. Go shake down your gear. See the platoon sergeant. Draw what you need for the field. Try not to do anything stupid. Pretty basic. He was right. It's it's pretty basic. I sure hope I don't let him down. <laughs> <laughs> you Everything is so green. For this guy named Charlie. That thing that means watch me. Nah, I don't know much about him. There was always some place to go. I like that he's speaking comedy and the rate of a drama. <laughs> One day it started raining. We've been through every kind of rain there is. <laughs> Big old fat rain. <laughs> rain. You had a lot of rain. Seemed to come straight up from underneath. <laughs> you just lean right back against me. Something I've been thinking about. Shrimp. How would you like to go into the shrimping business with me? <laughs> I even wrote Jenny and told her all about it and how I was looking forward to getting a letter from her just as soon as she had the time. Oh, Jenny's living her peaceful life. Somebody turned off the rain and the sun came out. <laughs> Somebody turned off the rain. <laughs> oh no, Bula got shot. good friend i had to make sure that he was okay i think we are losing baba here guys baba and on my way back to find baba okay i couldn't just let him lay there all over. where is baba though it's her friend here 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 here
My position is danger close. Black Lieutenant Dan, call his dad. I know he's <laughs> dead. My whole goddamn platoon is wiped out. Leave me here. Get out. Big strong arm. How can you Go find Baba, but I don't know. I'm I'm torn. I, I I my weak ass would say to stay and save your own butt, but then Baba is our friend and he's been nice to us for the very first day. I don't know. I'm okay. So he basically saved a lot of people. If I'd have known this was going to be the last time me and Bubba was going to talk, I'd have thought of something better to say. What just happened? Got shot. I want to go home. Bubba was my best good friend. Bubba was going to be a shrimp and boat captain, but that's all I have to say about that. That's so sad. Bit me directly in the buttocks. <laughs> the only good thing about being wounded in the buttocks is the ice cream. <laughs> Is this the first guy tax? Lieutenant Dan. Ah, Dan. <laughs> oh, is he sad that he didn't die there? It's time for your bath, Lieutenant. Oh, he lost his legs. Go. I'm forced go. Oh, he got so many. Jenny. Ah, the sandbag. He, she never received the. I hate her now. You know how to play this? Come on, let me show you. At least people are nice to him. <laughs> For some reason, see, any idiot can play. <laughs> Even when I didn't have anyone to play ping pong with. I like it. I like this movie. I like how it shows the strength and the weaknesses, the devotion. The <laughs> they were batting. <laughs> Not to be able to use your legs? Yeah, he actually does. Y yes, sir, I do. Did you hear what I said? You cheated me! I understand that some men may... Some people m might have these convictions. I was Lieutenant Dan Taylor. You still are. You fought for your country. You lost your legs for your country. You, you did your are. best. You don't need to die to be considered a hero. Everybody that's putting their lives out there <laughs> for all of us are... Heroes. What am I gonna do now? You're gonna find something. Everybody, you're gonna find something. Don't worry. This movie is here to show us that you can find your strength from places you never know. Yes, sir! You've been awarded the Medal of Honor. Guess what, Lieutenant Dan? They want to give me a... Me What'd they do with Lieutenant Dan? They sent him home. Son. Where were you hit? <laughs> My butt. <laughs> I like the mix between realism, comedy, and then everything. A lot. F this and F that. God damn it. Well, there was only one thing I could say about the war in Vietnam. <laughs> That's all I have to say about that. You said it all. My name is Forrest, Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump! Oh! 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 Of course he meets her here. <laughs> moment of my life shut that blonde man and get your white ass away from that window don't you know we in a war here who's a baby killer this is my good friend i told you about this force gun let me tell you something else we are here to offer protection and help in their own communities as they sleep in their beds at night yes racist and imperial dog shit punch me in the face what do you mean quitty 
protecting him? Kick him. Jesus Lord, man. Woman, man, people in general. I should have known it was just going to be some bullshit hassle. You should not be hitting you, Jenny. Yeah. Jenny, you're dumb. Jesus Lord. Having someone protecting you. He doesn't mean it when he does things like this. He no, doesn't. he doesn't mean it. I know you wouldn't, Forrest. So, let's be with the idiot then that will freaking hit us. Boyfriend. But you don't like the good ones, you only like the ones that punch in your face. You look handsome in it. That's true, you guys know, usually what? look handsome in uniforms, any kind. And how she discovered ways to expand her mind. She went in the sky with the stars. Anybody want to go to San Francisco? I'll go. Far up. It was a very special night for the two of us. I have two fours. Jenny? Things got a little out of hand. Just this war and that, that lying son of a bitch Johnson. If you forgive him, you. I swear to Jesus, Jenny. You should go home to Greenbow, Alabama. Jenny, I swear to Jesus. We have very different lives, you know. I want you to Why? have this. Give it to your mom. Jenny didn't even reply to one of your letters. Forrest, I can't keep this. Yeah, of course you cannot. Why are you so good to me? Because you're stupid. You're my Jesus girl. Lord. You don't deserve him. I'll always be your girl. And she forgives the idiot. Go punch him again. For good measure. I they don't watch the landing on the moon, but they watch. Let's play ping pong. <laughs> so I was in the special services. I was so good that some years later, the army decided that I should be on the All-America ping pong team. Somebody said, world peace, but all I did was play ping pong. <laughs> I was a national celebrity. <laughs> such a good actor. Such a freaking good actor. I love it. In the land of China, we hardly got... Nothing at all. No possessions? Well, it's easy if you try, Dick. Some years later, that nice young man from England was on his way home to see his little boy. They gave you the Congressional Medal of Honor. Now that's Lieutenant Diane. Lieutenant Diane! They gave you the Congressional Medal of Honor. That's sad as well, because I know what's yes, happening sir, with veterans. Did. Imbecile, a moron who goes on television. Well, that, that's just perfect. Hey, hey. Uh, I actually watched a documentary um, showing how the, the veterans are reintegrated in the society. Homeless, drinking, no jobs, no family. It's painful, it's really painful. I stayed with Lieutenant Dan and celebrated the holidays. I think we need to convince Lieutenant Dan to cut his hair. Have you found Jesus yet? No. I didn't know I was supposed to be looking for him, so... <laughs> so nice lines as well. I like it. Have I found Jesus? He said God is listening, but I have to help myself. Now, if Alcohol I is not Jesus the solution. Heart, I'm going to heaven, Lieutenant Dang. <laughs> Who's your friend? My name is Boris. Boris Gump. <laughs> <laughs> Where you been, baby cakes, huh? Everybody gets a second chance. Oh, like her with a blue eye. She's spending with with a freaking blue eye because she has great ta taste in men. That's how she's spending it. <laughs> come on, come on, oh, what are you stupid or something? What is the problem? Did, did you lose your packet in the war or something? Yeah, did you bring stupid or something? Don't call him stupid. Go on. Get out of here. Get out of here. You can't say the R word. That's just wrong i know it's a movie but i really hate i usually i i hate bullying and any kind of this kind of you know people just being mean to other people for no freaking reason i hate it so much i'm sorry i ruined your new year's eve party lieutenant diane i look guess lieutenant diane figured there's some things you just can't change look how how cute he's dressed and he has clean haircut and good you know good they invited me and the ping pong team to visit the white house so i went <laughs> Again, you might want to send a maintenance man over to that office across the way. I shall resign the presidency effective at noon tomorrow. Vice President Ford will be sworn in as president at that hour. I don't know what he did. It's probably a historical event that happened. I don't get it. I don't know a lot of American history, unfortunately. I have your discharge papers. Service is up, son. But guys, if you know what exactly happened there, mean, let me know in the comment section on, below. So I went home. <laughs> run forest run oh his mom i love his mom so much now when i got home i had no idea 
but Mama had had all sorts of visitors. I didn't stay home for long because I'd made a promise to Bubba, and I always try to keep my promise. Are you crazy? And of course, I paid my respect to Bubba himself. Hey, Bubba, it's me, Forrest Gump. I remember everything you said, and I got it all figured out. That's so sweet. $24,562.47 that I got, well, that, that's left after well, a new haircut. Uh, not really new. Now, Bubba told me everything he knew about shrimping. I only caught five. Hey, you ever think about naming this old boat? It's bad luck to have a boat without a name. I'd never named a boat before, but there was only one I could think of. Baba, please don't say Johnny. Now, I hadn't heard from Jenny in a long while. Better. But I thought about her a lot. You should stop and thinking about her. Would. She probably doesn't realize this. Oh my god, is that bad, huh? You guys see how much our choices make a difference in life? It's crazy. She's gonna be a bird. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I hate heights. What about the boat? What are you doing here? Thought I'd try out my sea legs. <laughs> you got no legs, Lieutenant Dane. <laughs> well, well, Captain Forrest Gump. I had to see this for myself. Forever a shrimp boat captain that I'd be your first mate. Well, here I am. I don't think he's a captain no longer. <laughs> he just parked it. <laughs> Take a left! Which way? <laughs> The other way. Still no shrimp, Lieutenant Dang. <laughs> Times Lieutenant Dang came too, though. <laughs> I think he left the train. <laughs> now they're gonna die at speed. Now me, I was scared. This <laughs> After that, shrimp was easy. <laughs> <laughs> they got all the shrimps. Hold on there, boy. Are you telling me you're the owner of the Bubba Gump Shrimp Corporation? We got more money than David Crockett. <laughs> he doesn't believe him. Would you like to see what Lieutenant Dan looks like? That's him right there. <laughs> I never thanked you for saving my life. Aww. Finally. About time to thank him. He never actually said so, but I think he made his peace with God. Even when you think your destiny is done. For the second, he is indisposed at the moment. Where's Mama? She's upstairs. What's the matter, Mama? I'm dying, Forrest. Come on in, sit down over here. Why are you dying, Mama? It's my time. It's just a part of life. But I was destined to be your mama. I did the best I could. You did perfect. What's my destiny, Mom? Life is a box of chocolates, Forrest. You never know what you're gonna get. Mama always had a way of explaining things so I could understand them. And died on a Tuesday. I bought her a new hat. He got me invested in some kind of fruit company. And so then I got a call from him saying we don't have to worry about money no more. And I said, that's good. Apple guys, can you imagine investing in Apple when they started? <laughs> and I gave a whole bunch to the bio the battery fishing hospital. You know what? She didn't have to work in nobody's kitchen no more. I cut that grass for free. <laughs> but at night time, when there was nothing to do, and the house was all empty. Yeah, it's when I your brain starts. Now she's coming. Freaking Jenny. Oh, she's not coming. Okay, she's gone. It's not like I hate Jenny. She was a great friend to him, but I'm actually quite grateful that she chose to stay out of his life because probably she would have been bad influence. I'm sorry he's feeling lonely and I don't know how it is sometimes when you are alone and you are not having anyone around. Just your brain goes kind of against you because it makes you 
think about stuff you usually keep your mind occupied during the day. Then she was there. I don't even keep it against her. She didn't have the best choices and chances while growing up. Jenny came back and stayed with me. Maybe it was because she had nowhere else to go. Yeah, probably. Or maybe it what? Oh, her old house with her loving father. <laughs> That's such a powerful scene. I'm so sorry, Jenny. Every day, I'd pick pretty flowers and put them in a room for her. And she gave me the best gift anyone could ever get in the wide world. The shoes at the beginning of the movie, guys. And it was the happiest time of my life. Will you marry me? But... But you won't marry me. You don't want to marry me. Why don't you love me, Jenny? She does. She loves you, but she doesn't love you that way. I'm she... not a smart man. It's not about I that. Know what love is. She just doesn't love you that way. I think she cares about him in a kind of friend way, but she can't see him in a romantic way, if this makes sense. I'm suspicious. I never got the feelings of love towards him. I do understand that she hates herself and probably she thinks that he's too good for her. Maybe that's why, but... Are you running away? That was it? You're going? Mm -hmm. Yep, told you guys. Suspicious. I'm not running. Oh, she's definitely running. I'm telling you guys, it has something to do with, with that. I, me personally, think that she thinks she's not good enough for him. Which she's, she's not. She's, she's not. But, uh, he, he loves her. So, you know what they say? We don't choose who we fall in love with. Reason I just kept on going. When I got to another ocean, I figured since I've gone this far, I might as well just turn back. And he kept healthy and fit too. I thought about Jenny. This I freaking Jenny. Stopping only to sleep has been running across America. <laughs> it's the same three persons. The gardener from Greenbow, Alabama. It's about to cross the Mississippi River again today. Are you doing this for world peace? Are you doing this for the homeless? Are you running for women's rights? Why He's are you running doing for this? Jenny. I just felt like running. <laughs> I got more company. <laughs> then even more people joined in. Money on the Shit happened. Shit happened. Nobody likes that color anyway. Well, some years later, I found out that that man did come up with an idea for a t-shirt. He made a lot of money off of it. Oh my god! I had run for three years, two months, 14 days, and 16 hours. And then you stopped. And because you probably realized that she doesn't deserve it. I'm pretty tired. <laughs> Take a nap. I'll go home now. <laughs> Jesus Lord, uh, are we killing all the presidents? What the hell? One day, out of blue clear sky, I got a letter from Jenny. She saw me on TV, running. You don't need to take a bus. Henry Street is just five or six blocks. Down that way? Down that way. It was nice talking to you. <laughs> and now you see she's married and she has kids. I see some drawings. She knew all along where you were. She didn't give a sh um, dog ass. I have kids. I'm married. You're predictable. I want to apologize for anything that I ever did to you. Cause yeah. You who? Hey. Hi. <laughs> this is my old friend from Alabama. Kid. This is my very good friend, Mr. Gump. Here, can you say hi to him? Hello, Mr. Gump. You're a mama, Jenny. I'm a mama. Name's Forrest. Like me. I named him after his daddy. He got a daddy named Forrest too. They had sexy time. That one time they had sexy time. I legit forgot about that. Forrest, look at me. Look at me, Forrest. They had one time. What are the chances? Okay, you didn't do anything wrong. Isn't he beautiful? 
I mean, he's kind of pretty kid. It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. But you took the chance for him to be a father in his kid's life. Is, is he smart? He's no. Very smart. He's one of the smartest in his class. Yeah, it's okay. Go talk to him. I hate Jenny for stealing all of those years from from Forrest with his child. He looks like at least three, four, maybe five. I don't know. I don't know kids' ages and stuff. But if he was running for three years, maybe like, maybe he's like, no, maybe like three then. I don't know. Forrest, I'm sick. Oh, Forrest, Jenny, I'm sick. Forrest, I'm sick. Oh, Jenny, you're killing me. I have some kind of virus and the, the doctors don't, they don't know what it is and there isn't anything they can do about it. You could come home with me, Jenny, you and little Forrest. You could come stay at my house in Greenbow. I'll take care of you if you're sick. Would you marry me, Forrest? Okay. <sighs> I would probably you guys probably have other opinions and stuff, but I'll keep mine. I'll definitely keep mine. Jenny went freeing the girls. <laughs> Maybe I like you a little bit better now. Lieutenant Dang. Lieutenant Dang. Hello, Forrest. You got new legs. New legs. Custom made. Titanium alloy. It's my fiance, Susan. Lieutenant Dan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dan. Be on my side. Come on, Dan. Say something. No? Fine. Might be having an unpopular opinion here. So now they got married, and she's sick, and they have a child together. Sometimes it would stop raining long enough for the stars to come out, and then it was nice. I like that he found beauty in those old million sparkles on the wall. Oh, that's so beautiful! The writer, man. I need to see. I need. I need to. I, I need to check who wrote this. It's so beautiful. I wish I could have been there with you. Oh, shut up, Jenny! I don't think you sh would have. You died on a Saturday morning. I had you placed. Here under our tree. And I had that. Mama always said that dying was a part of life. Man, this mom. That mom was very wise. Doing just fine. He's about to start school again soon. I make his breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day. I make sure he combs his hair, brushes his teeth every day, teaching him how to play ping pong. <laughs> Every night we read a book. She's so smart, Jenny. You'd be so proud of him. Here, wrote you a, a letter. Such a beautiful movie. I don't know if Mama oh, was right. Or your if mom it, was if it's the best. Day. I miss you, Jenny. So good. Your bus. Okay. <sighs> now this. I'm gonna serve that for so and tell because Grandma used to read it to you. My favorite book. The feather, guys. The feather. The feather. Did you see the feather fell? I want to tell you I love you. I love you too, Daddy. The acting, the actor, the lines, the story, the details. I really loved it. I really, really loved it, guys. It was really difficult for me not to cry. I, I tried, I tried. Like, you might have seen my eyes go glistening and such. I really loved this movie. I think it was a very intelligent movie and with beautiful lines, like I said a thousand times. I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction as well. <laughs> And of course, if you do and if you liked it and you want me to continue reacting to movies, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, it's much appreciated. I uh, want to thank you for wanting to watch this with me, it means a lot. I wish you an amazing day and hopefully I get to see you on my next reaction. Thank you again for being here, bye bye!